in no way, shape, or form does anyone in this room believe that Islam or the teaching of Islam has anything to do with what you've seen on that screen. That is abhorrent. It's, it's just, it's terrible, and it does not represent the religion in any way, shape, or form or any of its teachings. Uh, and uh, this, is, this is a criminal uh, with, a, with a stolen gun who tried to kill one of our officers. It has nothing to do with being a Muslim or following the Islamic faith. Sheriff Clark, what are your thoughts? Well, as Ben Franklin said, we are all born ignorant, but one must work really hard to remain stupid. <laughs> Apparently, he had uh, Mayor Kenny in mind when he said that as a matter of fact mayor kenny's putting in overtime that is an idiotic statement this has everything to do with um islam as a political ideology i don't understand why he and some of his fellow lefties including the president of the united states and the attorney general continue to live in denial about the fact that war has been declared and now that has reached the homeland not just law enforcement officers but uh, American citizens as well. We saw it in San Bernardino. We saw it in Boston with the Boston Marathon. We saw it in Garland, Texas, and it continues. And this president, Barack Obama, is either unwilling or incapable of doing his most solemn responsibility, and that is to protect the American people. Yeah, or, or uh, some would argue even perhaps all of the above. Sheriff Clark, to the criminal side of this, though, uh, I, I was shocked to see the arrest record, the, the arrest sheet of this guy. Once again, you know, we saw officers in New York City assassinated last year. Invariably, almost every single time you ask yourself, why were these people even out of jail to begin with? Well, that was why I bring into question the president's uh, uh, wisdom or lack thereof of opening up the prisons, the federal prisons, and returning these career criminals back into uh, the neighborhoods at the local level we're, we're going to have to to deal with this. Look, this is going to call for bold and aggressive action on the part of the President of the United States. Not only does he not have a military strategy to deal with the Islamic threat, but we also don't have one here at home in terms of uh, domestic intelligence. I've maintained that the FBI is the wrong organization to lead on domestic intelligence. They have missed many of these markers beforehand. That's where we need to be more successful it's not after the event and all this stuff comes out and the FBI is doing great work after the uh, incident. We need it before. So one of the things that I propose is that the president take bold and aggressive action under Article 1, uh, Section 9, Clause 2, and any United States citizen that declares allegiance to a foreign threat that has declared war in the United States forfeits their citizenship. They should be charged with treason. They should be moved to Gitmo because I don't want these individuals in American right. jails and prisons continuing that, that uh, radicalization. Right. And they should be charged under a military tribunal. They should not have access to uh, American uh, courts. Now, I realize that there's going to be some legal, legal issues with that. Let the lawyers haggle that out. The President of the United States is not doing enough to protect right. the American people. And like I said, anytime someone declares Sheriff allegiance Clark? to a foreign government, all bets are off. I agree with you one million percent. It almost seems like a common sense issue. If you don't love this country and you want to do harm to it, you're not a part of it anymore. Sheriff Clark, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank you, Charles.